Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing some unboxings. Also, I thought it'd be really nice to have like a little change of scenery, make this like super casual, open some boxes up and see what we've got. I have little Miss Mia on my lap here. Hey there. <laughs> so without further ado, we have BoxyCharm, Ipsy, and Face Toy Deluxe. So let's get into it. I'm starting off with Ipsy. I really like this bag. It's definitely summery. It kind of reminds me of a bathing suit I own. I'll post a picture if I can find one, but it's really, really cute. Let's see what we've got in here. So first thing we have is this tiny little box. This is from Red Earth. It's a Brighton Concentrate Oil with Kakuda Plum, one of the richest world's richest sources of vitamin C. That's really cool. I really like facial oils a lot. It's the one thing that I do use often. Mia, where are you going? The size of this is actually really nice, especially to travel, but I'm reading the ingredients and it does have macadamia oil in it, which is a nut. And if you guys know, you know that I can't really, I don't really use products with nuts in it. I feel so repetitive, but there are some new people sometimes. My fiance is allergic to nuts. So I tend to avoid products that have things in it that could kill him. Next thing we have in here is from Smashbox. This is a little mini version of their always on liquid lipsticks, which I absolutely love. This is in the shade Babe Alert. It's a really pretty just shade actually. I'm pretty sure I probably have a full size of this unless it's a new color, but it's a really pretty pinky like mauve tone. I actually quite like this a lot. These are, this is a really good formula of liquid lipstick as well. If you've never tried these, they're bomb. Next thing we have in here is from Murad and this is the Environmental Shield Essential Sea Cleanser. It looks like there's no nuts in it, which is a good thing. I will definitely be using this. Again, this is a really nice size, especially for traveling and you can never have enough cleansers. I feel like cleansers are one of those things that I never like find ones that I absolutely love. So I'm constantly changing things up, but this I will definitely be putting into my shower and using it when I wash my face. Hello. Next thing we have in here is from phase zero makeup and this is a cotton candy blusher. Oh, interesting. I wonder what color is it? Cotton candy it says. So, ooh, that's a pretty color and it's matte. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I'm going to give this a swatch. Ooh, I really like this a lot. It seems so like soft. Are you guys gonna be able to see? It's a really pretty pink. Like I don't wear a lot of like super pink toned blushes, but this is a really nice one. Like I love the tone of this. The formula feels amazing. I will definitely be throwing this in my collection and I really like the size. It's not like super tiny where, you know, it's gonna be hard to get a brush into it and it's not gonna get lost in my collection. It's actually like a pretty decent sized blush. You guys can't see her, but she's like sleeping right behind me right here. She's so comfortable. She's never napped there before. But moving on, this is a nail polish from the brand Color Club, which I love Color Club polishes. Wow, that was like a tongue twister. This is in the shade. Let's find out. Oh, whoa, that is loud. Um, She is, there's no color name on it. Oh, it's called Mrs. Robinson. Oh, okay. The nail polish I'm actually wearing is from Color Club, which is very interesting. But yeah, this is a really bright kind of magenta, violet, fuchsia, I don't know what you want to call this. And it's a full size polish. This is a really good brand of polishes. I've said polish so many times. So I will definitely be trying this out. Perfect like summer color. Ooh, should I paint my, kind of want to paint my nails now. That is my Ipsy bag. I'm actually quite impressed with everything in here. Like I will use everything, probably not the oil just because I can't use it, but I would if I could. Um, everything else I'll definitely be using like the blush, the nail polish, cleanser, the lipstick, really like these products a lot and they're really nice sizes too they're not like super tiny little sample tubes you know what i mean so i'm really happy about my ipsy now we're gonna move on to a boxy charm a little asmr <laughs> i do have a link down below if you guys want to sign up for boxy charm it is an affiliate code you don't have to use it if you don't want to but if you do thank you so very much let's see what's in july's box all right so the first thing i see in here is this luxy brush set i think it has three brushes in here let's open this up these are the brushes in the kit. These are really soft and really light, but not like lightweight as in bad quality. The handles are this like really light wooden feel. I know a lot of brush handles are made of wood, but this is like different. Just kind of like the way they were packaged and stuff. I feel like it's maybe like a recycled wood and it's like very eco-friendly. I don't know what. Don't quote me on that, but these are really nice brushes. I can never have enough of them. So these are definitely gonna go into my collection. Next thing we have in here is from the brand Elemis, Elemis. 
Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. It's a nourishing prebiotic green mask, advanced skincare. That's really cool. Broccoli seed oil, avocado, omega fatty acids, vitamin C, passion fruit acids. That sounds really exciting. Like I would like to use this as long as it doesn't have nut products in it. Oh, that's kind of cool. There's actually a $10 coupon where you can get a facial at a Ulta skin bar. I didn't know there was an Ulta skin bar. I know they have like a hair station situation, but I didn't know they had like facial thingies. Facial thingies, good job, Jess. Next thing we have in here is by Appeal. It's a gel liner in forest green. Oh, okay. Well, this is gonna take me a while to open because of my nails. So give me a second here. We got it open. This is a really pretty color. Let's give it a little swatch. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, so creamy. That is a really nice formula. Let's see if that kind of like dries down. It does say that it's a gel liner. So maybe it's kind of like those eyeliners you put down, smudge with your finger and get more like of a smudgy, smoky look. Me with my words today, but I will leave that there to kind of like dry down. But that's a gorgeous color. I love the formula. Super glidey. I feel like it's gonna be really easy to use. You can like Put on your eye as a wing and then use a brush to kind of like move the product around easily so we'll find out next thing we have in here is by Olimar cosmetics i believe this is a lip gloss oh i thought the color was like this mocha chocolate color but it's actually a super pretty like pinky tone as you guys can see down here i actually i have something on a little bit right now but maybe we can oh i'm excited this looks really pigmented i need a mirror i'm gonna use the one from the next product <laughs> sneak peek Ah, ooh, these are really nice. It almost looks like what I was wearing. Oh, I really like this a lot. It's kind of like those really kind of like pigmented, cushiony lip glosses. It's not sticky whatsoever. Oh, it gives you a really pretty shine, super comfortable to wear. I really like the color. I am so happy. Like this is gorgeous, mm, luscious juicy lips so i'm very excited about that it's a full-size product as well so yay so the very last product in here is by butter london and this is a really pretty palette i literally used the mirror but i didn't even look what was inside so these are the colors of eyeshadows in here these are so cool they're like very earthy tones and then you have like this like pop of blue this is called the natural goddess eyeshadow palette and it's 32 dollars and it's like a full-size palette this is super pretty i'm gonna give a few of these a little swatch that's a little sage green color. Let's do this blue color. Ooh, that's a very interesting blue. It kind of looks a lot brighter in the palette, but swatched, it's kind of like a very muted, I don't even know how to describe that color, but it's really pretty. Then let's do the shade Queen. This is a really nice color. Whoa, whoa, baby, that is gorgeous. That is a really nice metallic. I am, ooh, I'm very impressed with this. Like, I cannot wait to try this out. This green, the green is okay. Maybe we'll see if that builds up nicely. The blue, the blue is okay as well, but that metallic, like this coppery shade in the middle, stunning. Oh, the eyeliner would look so pretty underneath this. You can put the eyeliner down, blend it out, and then top it with a blue shadow to set it. That would be a pretty look. I'm gonna go back to the eyeliner and test it out. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like it really dries down. It's one of those like super smudgy, creamy eyeliners. I mean, I do really like formulas like that. I don't really have an issue personally about like eyeliner bleeding on me or transferring on my eyes, but I know, I'll give that a try. I feel like once you kind of blend it out, it'll stay, but if you kind of layer it thick and not blend it out, it might smudge. This is everything in July's BoxyCharm. Now looking at all the products, it has like this very earthy, Ooh, natural kind of theme to it like with the colors and the packaging it's so pretty like this is very aesthetically pleasing i'm pretty sure they did that on purpose maybe really good box I'm really happy i think this lip gloss is like my favorite you guys know i'm not really like super into lip glosses but this feels so nice and i love that it's pigmented but it doesn't look weird on my lips like it's not giving me like butthole mouth actually it's like your lips but better type of gloss at least for me and I don't know. I'm really excited about this. We have one last box left and that is from Face Tori. Oh my god, I got so dark because of the box. But this is their huge deluxe box. These are amazing. You get so much in here. I don't know if I've unboxed one of these on my channel yet, but 
hold on to your knickers. First of all, this note is adorable. And second, they always write me the sweetest letters. They hope I'm doing well. They loved my nude and gold polka dot nails. Like it's always just like little custom things. And that means so much to me. And also there's a little code here, you guys, Jesse 40 and you guys get 40% off this Lux Plus box. 40%, that's a lot. So Jesse 40 if you guys want to save, if you guys are interested in this box. With that said, let's jump into it. I'm so excited. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. This smells really good. Do you smell that, Mia? Do you smell it? She's just been chilling on my lap this whole time. Oh, she's such a good girl. We have stickers. I love stickers. And these are very summery stickers. Thank you, Face Story. The first thing I see in here are heart eye patches. I could tell you I, I've never seen anything like this. So that's apparently what they're gonna look like. They're shape of a heart you put on your eye. It's like a superhero mask. I think that's really freaking cool. I believe that there's three like individually wrapped ones and it looks like this. I, I'm excited for this. If I end up doing this, I will definitely post it on my stories because you have to, they're adorable. Oh my God, we have a lot of products in here, but we also have like a lot of sheet masks. Um, I'll go through these really quickly. This is the Beautiful Factor Water Shield Barrier Mask, Aqua Rush Pearl Mask, Two Step Jelly Mask from Meg. I think I've tried that brand before. Calendula, oh, Calendula Mask. It was just written in two words, but that's really cool. Bless you. This is the Miracle Marine Collagen Magic Gel Siren Mask. These all sound so like magical. Then we have the Vitamin Powder Cleansing Tea Bag. Oh, okay, so there are like tea bags in here with a powder and you kind of judge it under your faucet and it kind of like foams up and then you wash your face with it. Never seen anything like that before. There's a whole box of more masks. This is the Intro Gold 24 Karat Modeling Mask Pearl. Oh, so fancy. Is there just one in here? Oh, you have like a bigger package and a smaller package. I need to read the directions on how to use this, but this looks very bougie. All right, so those are like the sheet masks. Now there's actual like skincare products in here. This first one is the Rose Blooming Mist. Ooh, I like that. I love this packaging. It's so pretty. So this is a hydrating rose water mist made from patented formula with hyaluronic acid complex. It helps moisturize and keeps oil and water in balance under or over your makeup for a soft, fresh, and glowy skin without sticky residue. I... I don't want to spritz my doggy, but I was about to give my face a spritz, but that's something I will definitely be using. Next up, we have the Spa Relief Be Frozen Pore Mask. Ooh. Pore cooling, tightening mask containing pure colloidal clay from Canada to pull out and eliminate sebum and waste in the pores quickly and easily, containing all natural minerals with a cooling, soothing effect. This low-key looks like ice cream, and I kind of want ice cream now. Hmm doesn't smell like ice cream, but it doesn't smell bad either. It kind of just smells like a clay mask. Everything has such cool packaging. This is the Centella Acetica Multi-Lotion Natural Aromatherapy. Amazing synergy for anti-acne is created with the five key ingredients, Centella Acetica Leaf Water Medic, the uh -huh. salicylic acid willow bark extract and tea tree oil this is perfect acne prone skin i have that that's me my skin hates me right now fantastic i'm gonna be using this let's see what this looks like this is a nice big size of lotion i am very excited to use this i am always looking for like really good moisturizers and the fact that it's like good for acne prone skin it makes me very happy because one of the reasons i don't wear a lot of moisturizers and lotions is because i feel like the more i put on my skin the more i'm gonna clog it and i know that's not like technically the right thing but that's just that's just me the very last thing we have in here is a calming essence organic rice this packaging is so pretty okay this is a water type essence containing the optimum formula of plant-based concentrates and natural moisturizing factors to hydrate the skin improve skin vitality and elasticity are you comfortable up there hi so this is what it looks like it looks like it's leaking out just a tad bit but oh it smells really good no not for you to smell but it smells really nice all right so that was everything in my face story box and that is everything for my july unboxings i really enjoy this i think i got a lot of really cool stuff that i'm very excited to use i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm so sorry i haven't done unboxings in a while um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to follow me on twitter messy jesse beauty instagram makeup by jesse if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do so before you go and also hit that little bell so you're notified every time i do post a new video i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs>